Hey guys, this is Jamal Hartwell coming at you and I get so much, so many requests for Neo Soul. I'm going to have to start doing some gospel stuff because we are gospelmusicians.com, but I know uh, everybody's doing the COVID thing, your home, your isolation, and you just love to vibe off some stuff just to give you some, you know, inspiration. So... So... So I'm going to give you some stuff. I'm going to give you some stuff. Now, before we even get to doing any chords or neo soul lessons, it is very important that you understand that the sound is vitally important to neo soul. So I got my, my pure synth right here, and I call them Nisums right here because I just created this. This is um, my suitcase uh, cream way back for the original neo soul keys. For the pure synth, but this is not available for you guys because I'm working on some stuff. So just just hold on. I'm working on it. So the key to Neo Soul, before you even get to the chords, you have to have the right sound because every single sound is an instrument in and of itself. Meaning that I could have a synthesizer with 100 500 different sounds, but every sound is played differently. And the way I'm wired is that I'm, I hear every single thing. So I'm going to show you some details why this sound is so neo soulish. You see how I play these chords up in the high registers? It has to sound like a pad, almost as if neo soul. EPs sound like almost a pad, meaning that the velocities are not as pronounced. Meaning that, I mean, I could stick it, but not for Neo Soul. You just wanna, you just wanna, you just wanna. You just want to glide on it. With them high notes. And so what gives it the high note sound is how you program the sound. So the way I programmed it, real, here's some tricks. This velocity curve right here, this little velocity curve right here allows me to pick out the velocity ranges so that my high brant, brant, brant barking, I don't get the barking. I accentuate more of the, the bell and lower terms. So I take the, I could even take it down just a little bit more. And when you take that down, you have to take your, your mount up because it's, it's, it's manipulating your velocities. All right, so the next thing I do as a secret is this little voice is right here. I know we shouldn't do it, but I'm breaking the rules. I take the voices and I take the detune up to two, and so I can give a super duper stereo spread. Here's what it sounds like with this thing off. And here's the super, just two. You have to make it sound like a Mr. Rogers EP. Now, for those of you who want this sound right now, all of these sounds is on my Neo Soul Key Studio 2. So here's a link in the description. Neo Soul Key Studio 2 is killing. It's full of this Neo Soul sound. I'm just using uh, I'm just using uh, pure synth right now because I can, all the controls are on there and I can demonstrate it. The other thing we do, 
we got to add some chorus in there. You got to add the chorus in there and you got to add a little slatter of, of reverb. And so I super detune it by adding two voices slightly detuned. I take down the velocity curve. And so once I take down the velocity curve, it I can completely emphasize these middle areas and it gives it. And when I do, When I do that, it accentuates those low bells. So now when I get into my neo soul, it's going to sound better because my sound, everything plays a part, my interface, your speakers, every little detail adds up. That's what makes this the perfect sound. Let's just shed a little bit with this sound with the high notes. So the high notes. playing which some of you have uh noted to me i'm playing like a dorian scale so so i'm 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 kind of not in the scale i'm not in the key but i am it's not random but i know the stuff that I mean, I know the stuff that fits is that dissonance. So what I'm doing is, is I'm kind of toying between this. So I'm always going back to that, but then um, and I'm cheating because I'm crossing my fingers to make it like I'm I'm mimicking a pseudo um, cluster. So so here's here's a chord, right? This is the F minor. What I would do this all right. This is my left. I'm overlapping. I'm overlapping. You see the overlapping? I know. That's what really makes the neo soul overlapping I'm overlapping a lot of I don't I'm not saying I'm the only one that does this but I have rarely seen guys do overlapping this is what I do for the neo soul and it really makes it full so here's without overlapping I'm going to the F minor F minor to the G minor is overlapping And in my right hand, I'm going bling, bling, bling. That's what gives me that neo soul. See, here, okay, let's say I didn't know anything about neo soul and I'm just playing two chords. But I got this super EP right here. So I have to go bling, bling and fling and do an arpeggiator with my right hand.
hear that a lot. That's just a grace note. It's a grace note between. kind of an off thing this is gonna take a while to learn this but you advanced people will be able to just see it right here Ooh, da, da, da. and another the gospel walk soul just stays up in the air and that minor nine just keeps it so it's it's not like I'm playing any minor nine there's some patterns that go together and I'm playing it along that Dorian scale want to give you some neo soul techniques to share with I can go all day with this or you can do It's gospel musicians coming at you just with some neo soul shed time.
All right, we out. Anyway, we out, we out.